Oh, here we go. Okay, cool. All right. So um, now we're actually we're going now, okay? So um, would you just talk a little bit about what you um, what your teeth were like when you walked through the front door here? How long has it been? Uh, it's been a little over three months ago. A little over three months. And uh -huh. so what was it, what kind of shape were you in three months ago? What was it like? Well, I had extensive dental work done oh, 30 years ago, and it was starting to what I call blow out. You know, I was had old root canals that were abscessing. I'd had quite a few teeth uh, that I'd had to have removed and that I hadn't replaced. Uh, I had teeth that were loose, uh, teeth that were sensitive. Um, and I knew from my family history that I was facing, you know, extensive dental work. I just wasn't sure what. Okay, and then uh, when you came here, um, what, when you called here, what were you looking for? What, what was, what, what prompted you to give us a call? Uh, I had had, well I thought I had a uh, sinus infection. I had swelling under my cheek and um, went and got some medication for it. Uh, didn't have tooth pain because there was no, I guess, nerve there. But uh, I knew the time had come. I'd been thinking for a couple of years that I knew I was going to have to do something. Just my fear of the dentist had kept me from doing that. And so um, when you came here, what was it that you were hoping or expecting for? I'd gotten, uh, well, I've had several friends that have had root canals. Uh, not root canals, dental implants, and I'd gotten a pamphlet in the mail from you that talked about uh, immediate load implants, and so that was really what I was interested in talking about. Okay, and then so how has it, uh, how's it been from the time we started your treatment till, till now, since this, you just got a release from uh, Dr. Wallace a week ago, he said everything looks good as far as the implants uh -huh. are strong in your jawbone, and so, um, How's it been? What's it? It's really been, you know, uh, it's been fascinating. Uh, I had all my work done basically in one day. Uh, I didn't have any pain after two days. I, I took two days of pain medication and I, then I never hurt because I didn't let myself get to the, that point. I took the medication when you said. Um, I don't know. It's it's really kind of strange. Sometimes I almost think I have phantom pain, you know, because I, I don't know if I miss it or what. <laughs> I'm like, oh, what is that? But uh, uh, I don't know. The even getting used to, you know, having a full mouthful of teeth. Uh, it's it's just been fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. So what's it been like having um, teeth that you never had to go? With removable teeth, your teeth have always, we went from your old teeth to attached teeth. Correct. Uh, you used to have a lot of infections and a lot of abscesses. Mm -hmm. So what's it what's it like now not having, knowing that you don't have the infections and that you have um, attached teeth? The there. attached teeth was just fascinating to me, absolutely fascinating. But I'm not sure, you know, I keep expecting something to happen. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know every time I go and see Dr. Wallace to have my implants checked, I'm like, oh, well, there, I'm surely, you know, there's something wrong, you know, because I've always had something wrong with my mouth. Uh, and that's not been the case. It's just, it's absolutely been wonderful. And so one of the uh, rules or recommendations before you had this done was that you had to stop smoking. Mm -hmm. And so how long had you smoked and how much did you smoke? How many packs a day were you smoking? I was smoking at least a pack a day, and I have been uh, since oh, 42 years. Uh, and I really, you know, I went into the not, and the, the problem is not smoking, you can't have nicotine. So that meant uh, no patches, no gum, you know. Uh, Dr. Wallace put me on, you know, medication, and I'm still not smoking. I could. I, they want you not to smoke a month before and a month after, and I'm still not smoking. So I was not smoking and uh, going through this at the same time, and I'm still. And so how's that? Sad. How's that been? Is it was it a big transition, or did you no, make a? No, it was not tough at all. It was not all? tough at all. 
So what would you tell people that um, have the kind of problem that you had loose teeth, infected teeth, um, about the procedure and how it might change their life? Oh gosh. Well, besides the fact that you never have to worry about having a dental procedure done again as far as, you know, a root canal or a extraction or a filling or a drill. Uh, I lost weight, I quit smoking, and I got beautiful new teeth, so I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how you can put all that into it's life changing. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I mean, had I known how easy and uncomplicated and pain-free it would have been. I would have done it a long time ago. Okay, and then um, what would you say about the, uh, the investment that you made financially to get it done? You know, at first, um, when you told me how much it was and you handed me the Kleenex box, <laughs> and I said, what is that for? And he said, well, I thought you might cry. And I said, no, I might hit you, but I'm not going to cry. <laughs> the, um, you know, you think, oh my gosh, but I'll have that back in cigarette savings to begin with, much less the, uh, I think, and this is going to sound kind of dumb, but if you ever try to stop smoking, you'll understand. The fear of messing up that kind of investment with a cigarette kept me from smoking or kept me from chewing into a candied apple or something when uh -huh. I wasn't supposed to. Uh, when you whittle it all down, you know, it just wasn't that very much money. Okay. You got all my savings, but it wasn't got very it. much money. <laughs> uh, is there anything else you want to just would tell somebody that might, uh, that, 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 that would be on the fence about this and that would like to, uh, that would benefit from it? Now go for it. Go for yep, it. Yep, absolutely. All right. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it, Kay. Thank you very much. <laughs>